I mean, looking at her now, I wish I could have got the all black. Do I regret getting this Rogue Glide special in the chrome option, not all black? I don't know, it's a question that's been asked several, several times, and it was asked yesterday, and as I was thinking about doing this video, like, I'm like, all right, well, yeah, I'm getting asked again. I need to do this video, like, right now. That's where the intro is getting to it. What up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Today I want to do this little discussion because I'm often, very, very often uh, asked this question. And that's, do I regret getting this 2020, what are we, 21? I'm, I'm, like, I'm like lost in my years right now because we're just, 2022, 21, it's a 21. <laughs> do I regret getting my 2021 Rogue Glide special? with the chrome package and not the black. Now, for those of you who are not aware, you are able to get the Rogue Glide special, not all blacked out anymore. You also have the secondary option of getting it all chromed out like I did. Um, and I absolutely love this. So here's a funny story. And you guys know, so if you've been following me for some time on this channel, when this bike first released last year in January, if you saw that, uh, um, the review that I did on this bike, I got on this bike and I did a review on it and in that video I said, this is my future bike, this is the bike I'm gonna get. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it. A few months passed by, I'm like, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. And uh, you know what, I ended up getting the bike. Um, originally I was on the one that was all blacked out. Absolutely beautiful, love the bike. Um, and I really had my mindset on getting the all blacked out version. Why? Because, I don't know, the blacked out version looks super clean. Obviously the all blacked out version is like more of a modern thing now. Um, everyone wants to make their bike all black so when it comes to all the components and the motor and everything. Um, it's just a real nice clean look. And for some time, you might fight me on this quote or not, but for some time it has felt like Chrome has gone out the door. It's not the thing anymore. And honestly speaking, it has felt that way. But, but, Chrome is coming back. came down to making a choice I walked into the dealership even that day like I wasn't really planning on getting the bike that day but it was just to chop some numbers up and you know look see if I felt comfortable on it again um, and I I saw this instantly I it just stood out to me um, I also liked the teal with the all black but there was something about the chrome on this bike it was just I don't know it was just it, it, just, it just spoke out to me and it's, it stands out so much away from the pack because if you look at all the specials now for the most part every person gets it in all black it's you you you, you rarely see the all chromed out version when it comes to the specials you see chromed out standard rope glass but when it comes to specials more people tend to go with the blacked out versions um um i don't know like i'm I, i'm i'm super happy with my choice um i if i had to do it again would i choose the all black no, like I, I really love the chrome on here. I love how the red and the black paint just bounce off the chrome. The whole color combination is just very well thought out, very well put together. It's just, it's my favorite bike. So, I love her. <laughs> now, blacked out version, chromed out version. I'm gonna be posting it right here so we can take a look at it right now. You guys can see the big changes um, between both bikes. Um, obviously, yes, the black does look really clean, but you know what? I have the all blacked out version on my little Rider S, um, and I kind of didn't want to have two blacked out bikes. That's another reason why I decided just to also go with the Chrome. Like, you know what? Like, I got this all blacked out bike, black paint, all black components, and I have this red and black bike with the all chromed out. It's just, 
it, it, it's it's a it's a well balanced mix that I have that I think I have. You might think otherwise, um, but I, I absolutely love it, man. Um, there's still a ton of stuff that I want to do to this bike, but as you can see here in the video, um, I have put on already the Harley Davidson Empire Collection, which looks great. Um, that. Empire Collection also comes in all black uh, and then in the chrome. Now, what I want you guys to do is drop your thoughts and comments down below. Let me know what you would prefer. Do you prefer the all blacked out version? Will you prefer the all chromed out version? Um, I really think that most of you guys are gonna say that you prefer the all blacked out version, um, but I definitely wanna hear your response down below. I wanna hear what you guys think about it. And um, are you excited to see the new colors for 2022? I already saw this. It's basically the same bike, uh, same paint scheme, but uh, with a, like a billiard blue, and I think like a silver line, and with the black right here like I have. I saw the picture earlier, a buddy of mine sent it, and it looks absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. I cannot, I cannot wait to see all the palettes and all the bikes out there with their actual colors. So we're a few days away as well from Harley Davidson releasing all the information with the new bikes and this and that, and colors and everything so super super excited for that that's gonna be pretty much it simple little discussion today i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one like always let the force be with you ride safe enjoy the ride baby peace